You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is not Rob. That's true, because my name is Rob, and this is Paul, and this is episode number 426. Yes, we thank you, as always, for hanging out with us. We really, really do appreciate it. Uh, a lot of things you could be doing with your time and you're hanging out, so that's cool. Yeah, no, we do really appreciate it. Thank you again for those uh, reviews, those shares, everything that you're doing to help propel this podcast forward, and everything that you're doing to help propel and progress the industry forward, because uh, you do have a very very real part in that. So thank you very much. Yep. Uh, let's just go ahead and let's get right into it today. Uh, today's question is going to be brought to you by Videoblocks, videoblocks.com. If you buy stock footage because you're producing videos that are just outside of real estate, you're doing actual full productions for ranches, land brokerage, action sports, businesses, businesses, marketing, whatever you're shooting, you're going to need some stock footage once in a while. So if you join videoblocks.com, you pay one low rate to use stock footage all year long, which if you're used to buying stock footage, it can be really expensive. So check out videoblocks.com to have unlimited use of stock footage for one low annual rate. This question is also brought to you by The Drone You. Why? Because it's the premier online training community. Whether you want to get trained in person at the obstacle course here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, or you want to learn online, you can check out all of our courses for one low monthly fee at thedroneu.com. Check it out, and here's the question. Hey guys, Brett Woods, Indianapolis, Indiana, Aerial Concept Unmanned Systems. My question is kind of a follow-up question. Um, I'd like to know... Um, how do you break through or what are some ways to look for production companies or um, films that are taking place in a state or place like Indiana that isn't very heavy on production or outdoor production um, that isn't as beautiful as, say, like New Mexico or Arizona? Great question. Mm, it is a good question. And why does everyone think that... Uh, we are such a unique place because of our weather that we can fly more or that there's more opportunity here. I just think there's more well, days available out of the year to fly. That's it. Yeah, I think that's part of it. But he's talking specifically about productions and opportunities within a kind of the film industry. That's kind of how I hear him asking that question. And we do have a lot of film going on here. In fact, it's what one of the top probably five places to film in the world right now, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. And so there's a lot of opportunities there. But that said, that said, that's not the best industry either to work in. Let yeah. me be honest. It's very hard to break into lots of nepotism um, and you could piss the wrong person off and have the whole crew angry at you um, for a very petty reason. So mm -hmm. um, it's not, you know, the best industry to really break into, Brett, but I would recommend in any state there are going to be businesses. Exactly. And they're going to sell you services. And they're going to advertise those services to you. And when they advertise those services to you, they're going to do so in a tone like the one I'm using right now. <laughs> and you're trying <laughs> to mix it up for them. <laughs> but they're also going to be showing you these advertisements through different mediums, text, video, and photos. Which means that all the businesses that surround you are going to be using advertising to sell themselves. Which means... There are production companies that make ads for these groups, which means there is opportunity to go work with these production companies, or you can do like what I did and start your own production company. Yeah. Um, and the only reason I did that is because I went to every production company in this city that made commercials uh, for companies that I saw on the news. So I watched the news, saw companies, called the manager, who'd you use, found out about the studio, called the studio, uh, ended up not working out with, not working with very many many of them, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. but I've taken a lot of work away from them. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed what clients they're using, and essentially I just went to the competition, made a better video, and said, hey, look. Right. So it's really that simple, and I think a lot of the production community right now that's not getting into drones uh, is very, very traditional, very set in their ways, and I think that you have a remarkable capability to undercut these people. 
uh, by the quality of service that you can provide for the same price point, if, if not a little bit lower. So especially Absolutely. with all the resources that we have now online. Yeah, for sure. And I don't even know that your price points need to be a lot lower because you're going to be bringing an added value that these other, a lot of these other people don't have with your drone footage. But I do wonder if his, let's just say his dream, let's say Brett's dream is to work in the film industry. Um, and we look at his question from that perspective. I kind of think of it, correct me if, if you disagree, Paul, but I think of it like an actor, somebody who lives in Indianapolis and has wanted to be an actor all the, their entire life. What do they do? They move to L.A. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, if that is your dream or they move to New York City, um, some of the obviously hotbeds for that kind of thing. If that's your dream, you may have to move. Right? If that's your dream. And I know before you're, you're you saying move, don't do that. Before you move, you know, you're going to want to get to know some heavy hitting production companies really well. And you're going to want to be able to prove what you can deliver to them. Sure. And you're going to want to ensure that you have work before you move. Because I don't recommend any of those things. In fact, I've been waiting for uh, Chris Gannon to write into the podcast on when is the right time to stop your mm. day job and mm -hmm. begin to move into full-time aerial services. Sure. And I gave him a checklist of things to do. And I think that's a great point to hit in, in relation to this question. So if someone wants to ask that question, please go ahead. Um, but uh, I would say, you know, you've got to have guaranteed sources of revenue before you make a big move like that. You don't want to pull the, uh, the Jackie out of college move. You know, yeah, I suppose. I mean, that's you're that's very it's responsible like, of you, Paul. I'm proud of you. <laughs> but again, it's if it's your dream, um, and actors that want to be people that want to be actors, they move to LA. We're not condoning this necessarily. Just not kinda, at all. Just kind of showing what it might take if that's really what you want to do. What if Jake was listening to this? <sighs> it's that's not funny. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I would deny it. He this this is not me. No, I don't think he does, actually. But anyways, they go to L.A., and they do auditions, and they wait tables. Again, not suggesting. I'm just saying that's how hard it can be, and that's mm -hmm. the kind of sacrifice you may need to make if that is really what you want to do. Or putting up I don't want to sugarcoat it is what no, I'm trying no, to say. No, no, no. Even if you go the real estate and then up to the production world, you're going to have to deal with some really douchey realtors in order to make your way. <laughs> uh, oh, no, they're, they're, there's an abundance of them. There are um, douchey people in every industry. That is Let's true. Let's just clarify that. I just want to clarify some industries may have more douches than <laughs> okay. the others. So. That's fine. <laughs> Anyway, I love re I love real estate though. It makes me a lot of lot of money. They're just you know, it's like all things, right? You want to deal with someone with quality. You it's just hard want, to you distinguish the, quality sometimes. The high profit, low maintenance quadrant. You're always looking for that, no matter what the industry you're talking about. That is true. But I like what you talked about. There are things that need to be produced wherever you are, and especially in a city like Indianapolis, which I think is where Brett's calling from. There's all kinds of things that you could do there in terms of commercials and helping businesses present themselves in a more professional and unique way where you'll bring them tremendous value. So hopefully you can start to think of things in that way and still enjoy what you do. Definitely. Definitely. You can still enjoy what you do. Uh, I think that answered the question, though. I hope so. If not, Brett, um, let us know. Seriously. We'll try again. We'll do take two. AskDroneU.com. That's going to do it for us today. If you're not a member of the community... You should become one. Why? Because you can get instant answers to your question and not wait weeks on end. That's just one simple reason why you should dro join Drone You. And I can't even talk, so uh, I'm going to get back to my day job, <laughs> Rob. What do you think? One more podcast, Paul. Here we go. Here we go. That's going to do it for us today, guys. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. <laughs> this is Ask Drone You.